Hey guys, it's your girl Shalane. I'm back today with another video. In today's video, we're going to talk about all the free money this week. I mean, guys, I'm talking about $3,000 in financial assistance for families. We have some guaranteed income programs. We have some grocery gift cards. We have a little something, something for everyone. So if you want to know how you can get a little bit more moolah this week, you already know what to do. Stay tuned. Your girl's got you covered. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, hi, hello, hey, friend. My name is Shalay, and here on this channel, we discuss shopping, saving, and everything in between. I would love to have you a part of my internet family. Super easy. Click the big old red subscribe button down below when you're in, just like that. And while you're at it, go ahead and give me a like, especially if you love me bringing this content to you. Guys, you can try out Amazon Prime extremely like it's free like you can try it out for free by clicking the link above or i'll put it down in the description box below all right guys so before we go ahead and jump into the video i had to tell you about social security's 2025 cost of living adjustment estimate inches up but we already know Medicare Part B premium, this may wipe it completely out. So guys, today the latest estimate for Social Security's cost of living adjustment for 2025, it rose to 3.2%. Now, after the government reported that April inflation was in line with the forecast, the 2025 cost of living adjustment, this is the most that it has risen all year as inflation remains elevated above the Federal Reserve deserves 2% target. So remember like in January, it was 1.75%. In February, it was 2.4%. In March, it was 3%. And now we're at 3.2%. So the good news is it is rising, but if it keeps increasing, that means inflation is going up. So we won't see a difference. Now here's the wild card, right? Because the expected Medicare Part B premium for 2025 is more than likely going to eat up the entire cost of living adjustment that we get. So it's not even going to be a rise at all. So Medicare's trustees estimate that the Part B premium will increase at nearly double the rate of the cost of living adjustment. So they released their report last week and they said Part B premiums could climb up to $10.30 a month in 2025 to $185. So that's an increase of 5.9% than what we had in 2024. Remember where it went to 174. Now, cost of living adjustment, it does not factor in like Medicare Part B premium increases at all. But nevertheless, you know, Part B premiums, this is one of the fastest growing costs in retirement. And those premiums are deducted directly from your Social Security benefits. So I don't know if this is a win. Like, you know, usually we say a win is a win. I don't think this is a win for us. Now, if you're interested as well, Social Security says that Olivia and Lim, they are again the top baby names. So every year around like Mother's Day, they announce like the 1,000 most popular baby names. And for the fifth year in the row, like Olivia and Lim have topped the list. And then Noah took second place for boys and Emma took second place for girls. So these appeared in the top 10 list with Mateo joining the boys list for the first time. Let me know what do you think about these names. Let me know what you think about Medicare Part, Part B as well as the Social Security Cost of Living Adjustment. And let's get back to the video. Now, guys, a lot of these programs, they do have deadlines that have started this week or will be ending here within the next few weeks. So you got to act fast, okay? Apply act fast. So the first place we're headed to is my Georgia Peaches Peace Up a town down that's right atlanta where they have a guaranteed income program that pays low income women one thousand dollars a month in cash to go ahead and help with their financial stability now guys this program has already been going on but they're now going to enroll an additional 270 participants and like i said the program is called in her hands it launched in 2022 where they had originally like 600 participants and they gave them 700 to 850 dollars but now they're in phase two and they're going to give out thirty six thousand dollars or one thousand dollars a month for the next three years making this the largest program in the country so if you're in atlanta and you live in like english avenue bankhead um vine city washington park 
those neighborhoods that, you know, and you identify as a woman, you make no more than two times the federal poverty level, which is currently about $30,000 for individuals or $51,000 for a family of three, then the applications opened on May 15th and they're going to go through May 31st. So guys, when I tell you the applications are live right now, you can go to the growfund.org, but you must apply you know, starting between that time period. Now, also on May 15th in Idaho, they have brought back the Empowering Parents Grant, which gives out $1,000 from any K through 12 student. And this caps at $3,000. Now, these grants are coming out like on a rolling basis. They have three waves. This is the last wave. So if you make 60,000 or less, that's one. If you make 75,000 or less, and then the other. But the way this one works in Idaho, it's like a marketplace where you can go in and use that $1,000 per child for like extracurricular activities, um, tutoring. You can use it to buy computers. I think they even have like cell phones on there or watches. So it can be anything to help with like your child's development as well but this opened up on may 15th and you can go and look because other people have applied it applied in different ways this program started during the pandemic i'm not sure if they're going to keep it for the 24 25 school year depending on funds but this is the last wave so if i was you i would definitely go ahead and hop on it right now Next, we're headed to Maryland, where two nonprofits are making sure that the workers of the Port of Baltimore are getting the financial assistance they need in the form of a one-time $1,000 payment. Now, this money is being made available from the Maryland Tough Baltimore Strong Key Bridge Fund, and this was announced in the immediate aftermath of the bridge collapse that happened in March. So, this direct cash assistance, like guys, this is vital, especially for those who work at the port, but they are like, or those that are self-employed, uh, truck drivers, freelancers, those that are out of work, especially like sole proprietors as well. So even like if your tax status is an independent contractor, you should still be able to apply for these funds as well. So definitely, definitely let someone tell a friend $1,000. Next, we're headed to California where Redland households can receive up to $1,200 for groceries. So Redland residents, they have the opportunity to receive $1,200 and the city of Redlands is accepting a second round of its applications for the grocery gift card program. Now, this is offering households a monthly $100 grocery gift card for up to one year. Applications have started being accepted in April and they're going to go through December 20th. Households did not have to receive help in the first round. Like if you didn't get anything, you will be given priority as well. But guys, this is $1,200 that you can use for groceries. And I like this program as well. So definitely apply. Next, let's go to Chicago where they have their guaranteed income program that's supposed to be coming back as well. But also the city of Chicago is using pandemic relief money to offer $500 grants to students with disabilities who come from like low income families as well. So the mayor did announce this last week where families can apply for this one time grant and it will be awarded up to 8,000 people. But parents and guardians of students with disabilities, they can go ahead and apply for two grants per household, which totals another thousand dollars as well. But one, the applicant, you must be a resident of Chicago. You have to earn income equal or less than 300% of the federal poverty level or about $93,600 for a family of four. Guys, that means a lot of people should um, be able to qualify for this one, but you also must have like documentation proving that your child does receive services at school, such as like an individualized education program or even a 504 plan, um, a certification from a doctor that your child does have a disability as well. So definitely make sure that you, if you apply, go ahead and apply for that one. Now, also in California, I may have forgot to mention this one, but they do have their Fresno County Guaranteed Income Program. This one is set to expire on May 15th as well. It is a pilot program that provides guaranteed incomes where it's like advancing Fresno County, they are only given 150 qualifying households 
or $500 per month for one year, no strings attached as well. Now, this is like another privately funded initiative, but it only targets two zip codes in California and that's 93706 and then 93234. <laughs> that's in Huron, like, okay guys. But this one is about to close as well. Applicants, you have to be at least 18 or older, pregnant, have a child between the age of one and five, live in one of those zip codes, earn 80% or less of the area median income level. Now, those applications opened up on March 15th and they're closing on May 15th. But like I said, they're going to select them randomly via lottery based on the zip codes as well. So that's two programs that we have going on in California. And this is it, guys. This is all that I can find when it came to like guaranteed income programs. I try to do these videos weekly. Um, I really wanted to get this one out just because a lot of programs are starting today on May 15th. So I thought that would be great. So you could go ahead and start applying. Like I said, I know in Illinois, they're bringing back their guaranteed income program. I want to say in Pennsylvania, they have another guaranteed income program. I'm trying to put out a lot of content so you can see what is going on. Check out some of my tax relief tax assistance videos. Check out some of my videos for seasoned seniors as well. If you know someone that reside in these states or could benefit from these programs, definitely share the video, talk about it. We're trying to grow. And if you know anything else that goes on this year, like definitely drop it down in the comments. I have a few more videos coming, especially for my seasoned seniors that are going to be uh, very helpful. But yeah. Let me know down below, guys. Have you been accepted to a guaranteed income program? Will you be applying? What do you think about the $100 per month when it comes to the groceries? I think that's really good. And as always, grab you some Amazon Prime. Please like, comment, subscribe. And I will talk to you later, Gator. Bye, guys.